हाँ माता जी ओके यस या सो टुडे वी आर डूइंग द टेंथ चैप्टर ऑफ भगवत गीता and all of us are trying to understand bhagavad gita as it is which is based on the teaching of his divine grace ac bhakti vedanta swami who is fondly called as the prabhupad and who is the founder acharya of his kaun so before we start the class let's do the guru pranam and then start om agnana timirandasya gnananjana shalakaya chakshur unmilitam yena तस्मै श्री गुरुवे नमः श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित ये नूतले स्वयं रूप कदा दादती स्वादा नमा ओं विष्णु पादाय कृष्ण प्रेष्टा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देवी गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात देश तारिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंदा श्री अद्वैत गदाधार श्री वासदी गौर भक्त वृंदा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा 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 हरे हरे सो टुडे वी आर डूइंग द टेंथ चैप्टर व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज द विभूति योगा दैट इज द ऑपुलेंसेस ऑफ द एब्सोल्यूट दैट इज व्हाट आर द ऑपुलेंसेस ऑफ द लॉर्ड वी सॉ व्हाट आर द सिक्स ऑपुलेंस ऑफ द लॉर्ड वी सॉ एनी वन ऑफ यू कैन आंसर प्रैक्टिस यू कैन आई माता जी कैन यू सेंड द लिंक वंस माताजी Yes. Okay. So those are the opulences of the Lord. Okay. So the Lord tells, "Oh, um, oh, mighty Am Darjuna, because you are my dear friend, for your benefit, I shall speak to you further, giving knowledge that is better than what I have already explained." so the lord here gives some more knowledge or he is giving a deeper knowledge okay uh, as i said okay the bhakti yoga yoga chapters are going on right from sixth chapter we started the bhakti yoga the lord is telling more about how you have to do your karma with lot of devotion okay and how he is going to also reward you based on the karma and the devotional activity that you Uh, perform or how much with devotion you do, how much with bhakti you do, whatever karma you are doing. So the Lord tells, "Oh mighty Am Darjuna, because you are my dear friend, for your benefit, for your benefit, I shall speak to you further, giving knowledge that is better than what I have already explained. Neither the host of demigod nor the great sages know my origin or opulences, for in every respect I am the source of the demigods and the." sages okay so he says that uh, he is the source of all the gods okay so you can see here hairavata okay you can see kuvera uh, then you can see yama aryama okay and then you can see kartikeya prahlada uh, then you have uh, uh, lord rama right right rama then surabi kausurabi then arjuna then you have narada here okay and then uh, <coughs> bhrigu um then you have uh, the lord here okay and brahma here shiva okay and then indra 
then uh, Airavata, okay? And then you have the Kuvera, right? Kuvera, then Lion you have, then you have the uh, Ananta Sheshanak, and then you have the Peacock here, the uh, Shark here, okay? So all, all of them. So he says, neither the host of Demigod nor the great sages know my origin or opulence. For in every respect, I am the source of the demigod and the sages. And then he says, he who knows me as the unborn, as the beginningless, as the supreme lord of all the world, he only undeluded among men is freed from all sins. Okay, so he's, uh, the Lord is trying to show tomorrow, that is in the 11th chapter, he, he shows his complete universal form. And today he, in 10th chapter, he says, he who knows me as unborn, as beginningless, as the supreme lord of all the world, he only undeluded among men is free from all sin. The supreme lord, he is the controller of all controllers. He is the god of all gods. He is, beloved, he is beloved of all beloveds and he is the ruler of the world and beyond the material energies. Okay, so the Lord is telling or he's talking about his strengths here. Okay, and then he says intelligence, knowledge, freedom from doubt and delusion. Okay, what are all these? These are what are the 20 emotions that, the, uh, that we uh, uh, humans or the living beings will have. Okay, what are they? Intelligence, knowledge, freedom from doubt, delusion, forgiveness, truthfulness, control of senses, control of mind, happiness and distress, birth, death, fear, fearlessness, non-violence, equanimity, satisfaction, austerity, charity, fame and infamy. All of these various qualities of the living being are created by me alone. Okay, as the Lord tells, we, call, we tell, right, he is the controller of Maya. That is, he puts us into the modes of, um, he puts us into the mode, okay, that is uh, um, in uh, different modes. That is the uh, mode of goodness, passion and uh, ignorance, okay. And we are all, we all have to deal with these kind of uh, emotions, what these 20, uh, sorry. So the Lord tells these are the 20 emotions that uh, he is controlling in us. That is, what are all they? Intelligence, knowledge, freedom from doubt and delusion, forgetful, forgiveness, truthfulness, control of the senses, control of the mind, happiness and distress, birth, death, fear, fearlessness, non-violence, equanimity, satisfaction, austerity, charity, fame and infamy. All these various qualities of the living being are created by me alone. The energy of God manifests in us positively or negatively according to our Purushartha. Purushartha means the actions we perform by exercising our freedom of choice in the present and the past life. Okay, the God gives you the freedom. Okay, he, he has created everything. Okay, he gives you the knowledge also and he also uh, reside in you, but he also gives you the knowledge to, he also gives you the freedom to do what you, um, what you feel is the best, okay, so he will, and he will observe, okay, how, uh, how you are making use of the freedom, okay, how effectively or how is that you are making, how you are going to utilize the freedom given to you, okay, whether you, uh, um, whether you are utilizing the uh, freedom in the right way or in the wrong way. Okay, so who are the elevated, and also the Lord tells who are all the elevated personalities. The seven great sages and before them, the four other great sages and the Manus, the progenitors of mankind, come from me and born from my mind and all the living being popular, the various planets descend from them. Okay, so he tells the uh, all these of all these uh, sages, okay, because they would have surpassed, surpassed that uh, bhakti phase, okay. They're already in the uh, higher pedestal. That is, um, as I said, okay, we all require a form uh, to um, understand, I mean, uh, to identify the Lord or to uh, develop that bhakti or devotion. But these sages are not like that, okay. They're all, uh, they are all elevated souls, okay. They do not require any. Uh, form they know that the Lord is, or they uh, know that the Lord is present everywhere, and so they start 
uh, uh, they uh, they have already reached the highest la ladder in the bhakti phase. So one who is factually convinced by this opulence and mystic power of mind engages in unalloyed emotional service of this. There is no doubt. Okay. Yeah. And the Lord is also telling by... Uh, I am the source of all spiritual and material world. Everything emanates from me. The wise who perfectly know this engage me in my devotional service. And the, the thoughts of my devotees dwell in me and their lives are fully devoted to my service. And they derive great satisfaction and bliss from always enlightening the others. Always enlightening the others. Uh, where did I go? The thoughts of my pure devotee dwell in me. Their lives are fully devoted to my service and they derive great satisfaction and bliss from always enlightening one another and con conversing about me. To those who are constantly devoted in serving me with love, I give the understanding by which they can come to me. To show them special mercy, I dwelling in their hearts, destroy with a say, shining lamp of knowledge, the darkness born of ignorance. Okay, so the Lord is telling, okay, so he says, I am the source of spiritual and material world. Everything a man is, that is everything is coming from me. Okay, I am the origin, right? He said, I only create and I only destroy. He also told, right, in the previous chapters. And he says that I, everything emanates, everything are generated from him or they're radiating from him. The wise who perfectly, okay, only the wise can know or only the wise can uh, understand this, okay. Uh, and they engage in my devotional service and worship me with all their hearts. The, th the thoughts of my pure devotee dwell in me, okay, always a pure devotee, they always keep thinking about the Lord and their lives are fully devoted to my service, okay. They completely devote their life to the service of the Lord. And they derive great satisfaction and bliss from always enlightening one another and conversing about me. Okay, so they uh, a bhakta, okay, or a pure devotee is, a, is a, uh, uh, like um, how I told about Kanakadasa, right, the other day, and then Mirabai, okay, where they are uh, twenty-four bar seven. Okay, every any uh, any given point of time, they only talk about the Lord or they are only singing the glories of the Lord. Okay, they only think about the Lord and nothing else exists for them. So to those who are constantly devoted to serving me with love, I give the understanding by which they can come to me. To show them special mercy, I dwell in their heart, destroy with the shining lamp of knowledge, the darkness born of ignorance. And then the Lord tells uh, so all the all this time, the Lord was telling him about the bhakti. And Arjuna now again has another question. You are the supreme Brahma, the ultimate, the su supreme abode and purifier, the absolute truth and the eternal divine person. You are the primal God, transcendental and original. And you are the unborn and all pervading beauty. The Lord, Arjuna is uh, telling the Lord. And then... He, he, the Lord tells him, okay, the Supreme Personality of God had said, yes, I will tell you my of my splendor manifestation, but only of those which are prominent. O Arjuna, for my opulence is limitless. Okay, so the Lord tells, the Lord uh, tells that my opulences are limitless. Okay, there is no limit. Okay, it's where it's uh, like infinity. There's no limit for it. Okay, so he says, I will only tell you Okay, some of them, which is more important or which is more prominent, I will uh, tell you, okay, because uh, I cannot, I mean, uh, it is limitless, so he won't be here. He says that uh, I will only give you the gist or the spark, okay, only a small bit of it I'm going to uh, tell you, he says. Furthermore, O Arjuna, I am the generating seed of all existence, right? The Lord tells that I am the seed. Seed giving father, he said, I am the great generating seed of all existence and there is no being moving or non-moving that can exist without me. Okay, the Lord also tells them nothing that can happen without my, without me, okay, or uh, nothing can exist without me. Oh, mighty conqueror of enemies, there is no end to my divine manifestation. 
what I have spoken to you is but a mere indication of my infinite opulences. Okay, oh my, so he tells, oh mighty conqueror of enemies, there is no end to my divine manifestation. What I have spoken to you is beer is but a mere indication of my inf uh, infinite opulence. And know that all beautiful, glorious, and mighty creations spring from a but a spark of my splendor. Okay, so he says that whatever the creation, whatever he has, or whatever we see now as a creation, it is only a spark. Okay, a, a, a small spark. He says that is only a small spark, or it's only a spark that you are right now seeing okay so uh, the lord himself tells okay because his opulences are in uh, limitless he says know that all beautiful glorious and mighty creations spring from but a spark of my splendor but what need is there arjuna for all this detailed knowledge with a single fragment of myself i pervade and support this entire universe with a small with a single fragment he says with a single fragment i am able to maintain the entire universe okay so the um, uh, main uh, uh, inference or the chapter learning for today is the energy of god manifest in us positively or negatively god destroys with the shining lamp of knowledge the darkness born of ignorance and krishna's opulences are limitless and krishna is infinity the Supreme Lord is the controller of all controller and Krishna is the Supreme Brahman. Okay. And let me... Yeah. Okay. So... Um, okay. Anybody who will do the... Shloka... Let me clear the hand raise. Shloka, who will recite? Srijan is there. Adrit, you can do. Yeah, Srijan, do. Yes, ma'am. Aham sarvasya prabhavo mata sarvam pravartate dimatva bhajante mam buddha bhava samanvita. Hare Krishna, ma'am. Hare Krishna, very good. Manvi, do. Yes, ma'am. Aham sar Aham sarvasya prabhavo mata sarvam prata varte iti matva bhajante iti matva bhajante mam buddha bhava sam buddha bhava samanvita ha. Hmm. Yes, Naga, recite. Ha Mataji, Aham Sarvasya Prabhavo, Mata Sarvam Pravartate, Ti Matva Bajante Mam, Buddha Bhava Samanvita. Yeah. Pratham. Yes, ma'am. Aham Sarvasya Prabhavo, Mata Sarvam Pravartate. Iti matu bhajante mam buddha bhava samanvita. Hare Krishna Mataji. Laksha. Yes, ma'am. Can you recite the shloka? Yes, ma'am. Aham sarvasya prabhuha prabhavo prabhavo matha sarvam matha sarvam pravata pravartate pravartate it matva baha janatma. Iti matva bajante maam. Iti matva bajante maam. Buddha bhava. Buddha bhava samanvitaha. 
बुद्ध बाबा समता हरे कृष्णा मा हरे कृष्णा रीड द ट्रांसलेशन एंड द सोर्स ऑफ ऑल स्पिरिचुअल एंड मटेरियल वर्ल्ड एवरीथिंग इन एंड एनिमेट फ्रॉम मी दिमेट फ्रॉम मी इन इनामेट फ्रॉम मी द वाइज हु परफेक्टली नो knows this engage with all my devotional service and worship me with all their hearts yeah parimala yes ma'am read the translation i am i am the source of source of all uh, spiritual and material world spiritual and material world everything, everything emanates from me emanates from me the with the wise who perfectly know this by you perfectly perfectly know this perfectly know this in my engage engage in my devotional service and worship me with all their hearts with in us yeah ravi read krishna is the source of everything krishna is बिगिनिंग ऑफ द क्रिएशन Creation. Everything is under Krishna, and no one is will or ever him. There is no, there is no difference. Difference between difference between difference between Krishna's body and his soul. He is sad, kind, Sachi Dhananda. Sachi Ananda, one who knows this. will always worship krishna and do his devotion service devotion service yeah riya read yes sir um krishna is the source of everything krishna instructed brahma uh, brahma in the beginning of the creation everything is under krishna and no one is equal or above him there is no difference between krishna's body and his soul he is sachid uh, um, ananda sachid ananda one who knows this will always worship krishna and do his devotional services yeah, very good okay so that is the meaning of the shloka and explanation purport means explanation of the Uh, shloka okay so it uh, so it says that krishna is the source of everything that he told right everything emanates from me that means everything is coming out of me or radiating from me okay like how uh, from the sun you have the radiations you have the light coming out of the sun it is like that so from krishna everything is originating or everything comes krishna instructed brahma in the beginning of the creation everything is under krishna and no one is equal or above him there is no difference between krishnas we saw right the difference between krishna and we humans that is he is permanent okay his soul is permanent his body is permanent the spiritual right but we are all um, temporary okay for us it is temporary our soul soul uh, uh, once our uh, body perish the soul leaves and goes to another new body okay and uh, he is the controller of maya and we are all controlled by maya right that that is the difference we saw between krishna and human and he also says and it is uh, he is sachidananda forever blissful okay forever is blissful happy okay so whoever associate with lord are always okay they are in the state of trance they are always in the state of happiness they are in the state of 
He takes you into that mode of happiness. That's why you see the Gopas or the Gopikas, whoever associates with him, they're always very happy. One who knows this always worship the Krishna and do his devotional service. Okay, so uh, Krishna Leela is one that is a uh, Brahmana's wife's blessed okay so this is a story of uh, the brahmana's wife anybody who knows the story can raise your hand let me see if anybody knows the story adrit knows the story okay adrit can you tell yes mataji once upon a time in vrindavan while krishna and his friends balaram and his friends while they were doing the cattle they were doing so much so much that they became so tired then uh, balaram and all the other friends told krishna krishna please go and get us some food we are too so hungry and mm. krishna went to the, they, they played lots of games like they uh, played like the, the in the for is there so many bird peacocks flying each other then they also played the, that the tiger one acted like a tiger and others ran away like a deer and the so when krishna yeah. went to the nearby brahmins at the uh, the, the, the brahmin said we can't offer the food because after the sacrifice the food can be given yeah. so they have to be, so they went to the brahmana's wife but the brahmana's wife realized he was a supreme personality so they gave him all the food mm. that was in the house hari krishna mataji ji yeah very good okay so it's so so it is a story of uh, uh, how much of belief or uh, you have in the uh, lord okay uh, so the lord tells right um, that you should have we saw in the chapters that the first you should have faith in the lord okay then only you can identify then only you will be able to uh, develop that bhakti towards him okay without having faith you cannot have the bhakti okay and uh, this is a story to uh, show how much of bhakti or how much of faith the brahmana's wife had in the lord okay so it so happens that uh, um, uh, as we know right the, these are all uh, the uh, Uh, cowherd boys right their main uh, uh, work is that they take the cattle to the forest for gazing and uh, and also they along when they are taking they also get their lunch boxes and uh, when the cattle are gazing these boys all play okay they do all masti and then uh, they also finish their boxes and uh, again they start playing okay and they feel tired they lie lie down for some time they take rest again they keep imitating the animals and cows and birds and uh, all all uh, uh, naughtiness they keep doing okay and then it so happens that they play 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 after some time they feel very hungry and as um, the boys know that um, krishna and his friends were uh, very hungry okay and so they have to uh, because whatever they have brought they have already finished uh, but uh, they also know that one of the houses in uh, one of the brahmin houses in vrindavan they are performing some uh, puja okay or they are uh, performing some uh, yagna to the lord and we know that during that time they will also offer the prasadam to the lord after the puja they offer prasadam and then the prasadam is given to everybody who come to their house right and so it so happens that during the puja and uh, these boys will decide then okay they tell uh, uh, krishna and balram that uh, uh, we are hungry now can you both go can you uh, 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 go get food for us okay and krishna and uh, krishna will tell uh, no no we will not go you uh, he will send two of the boys and he'll say you you go uh, tell him that uh, um, go ask you you both go and ask and those boys will come and uh, uh, and when it when they come the brahmanas are still doing the puja and the boys uh, come and ask but this uh, brahmana will not respond okay he won't even look at them nor he will respond okay nobody responds around there and so the boys uh, they feel sad and they come back and tell krishna and balram about that and then they went to ask for the food for the brahmans house and they did not even speak to the boys and uh, then later krishna will tell no no you go ask the brahmana's wife okay you go tell that krishna and balram are asking for the food okay and tell them that okay and then uh, um, uh, you will get them I in mean, the brahmana's wife will give 
okay he'll say and then so the boys now will go instead of asking the brahmana he will go ask the brahmana's wife okay and the cowherd boys asked food for brahmana's wife for krishna and balram and when the boys ask like that the boy the lady will the wives will tell um, all of you uh, we'll only get the uh, uh, lunch or we will only get the eatables for you uh, you you people go to the uh, go back to the place where you are play okay and then later they see that all the uh, brahmana's wife get all the delicious uh, uh, prepared food for krishna and balram okay and then uh, uh, everybody krishna and his friends everybody start relishing the uh, food okay why this is because the brahmana's wife know that the lord comes in different form to ask the food so brahmana's wife gave them a lot of food to eat okay so without having faith or without having the belief you perform the puja nothing you are going to achieve okay so that is the moral of the story okay only when you have faith in the lord okay then only you can develop that kind of bhakti to him or develop that kind of love for the lord so today we'll see uh, uh, another story uh, nimai accepts offering of jagdish and hiranya pandit okay yeah let me ovia yes ma'am yeah read ma'am Ovia, Ovia, what happened? Unmute. Okay, I think. She's... Okay, Kritika. Yes, ma'am. Now I'm able to unmute myself. Am okay, read. Okay, read. After the that, of... Kritika, you read. Yeah. The time of Nimaya's formal education approached. fixing an i use auspicious auspicious day and time shri jagannath mishra formally placed the writing chalk in the hand of his son kritika Okay, Shreya. The Khan. Karna Beda. The Karna Beda ceremony. Ceremony. Which mark the beginning of Nimaz Vedic studies? Vedic studies was also observed. Nimma. Amazed, amazed everyone amazed everyone by writing down all the alphabet letters immediately on seeing them yeah okay so uh, it's the time that uh, nimai goes to school okay the formal school the vedic school okay and so before they send him to the school the uh, parents will uh, uh fix up an auspicious day and time and then they make him write okay they make him write on the um slate okay so you can see here they're having the chalk and the uh, slate on his hand and they're making him write okay and then the karna veda ceremony which marked the beginning of nimai vedic studies was also observed and nimai amazed everyone by writing down all alphabet letters immediately on seeing him okay so if you remember the grandfather predicted that the child is going to become a scholar one day right and uh, his horoscope results uh, i mean resembles that of a a uh, king okay and they see that uh, um uh, nimai no is very easily is able to grasp everything okay immediately as soon as he sees the alphabet he is able to uh, write them okay he is able to write them immediately after seeing them so the parents are uh, actually surprised okay the karna veda ceremony which marked the beginning of the nimai's vedic studies was also um uh, 
craft was also observed and Nimai amazed everyone by writing down all alphabet letters immediately. Aniket. After few days, Chidda Karna ceremony was performed, wherein young Brahmin boys sh uh, shaved their heads, leaving only sh uh, Shika. Yeah. Okay. So when uh, uh, when he gets admitted to the Vedic school, right? Uh, in Vedic school, there is a uh, attire like how we uh, we all go to school we have a uniform we have uh, uh, a dress code right the same way in uh, vedic school also they have a dress code that is they have to wear a dhoti like this and they have to um, uh, they have to uh, shave their hair hair okay and only a leave a small bit of uh, uh, hair behind okay and that is called as the shika so after a few days Chudakarna ceremony was performed wherein young Brahmin boys shaved their heads, leaving only a shika. Okay, and then Doshi read. Yes, Mata. Yes, Mataji. In just a matter of three days, Nimai learned all conject letters and spent his time writing different names of the Supreme Lord Krishna, like Rama, Mura, Murari, Vanamali, etc. Yeah, okay. And uh, it so happens that see, we, so as soon as he saw letters, he was able to write them. And now he is also, okay, within few days, okay, within a matter of few days, he is able to even form words, okay, conjunct words. That means uh, combining two letters, Ra plus Ma, Ram, uh, Rama, like that, okay. So Murari, Mu plus Ra plus Ri, Murari, Va plus Na plus Mali, Mali. Okay, Vanamali. So like that, he's able to uh, join in uh, words, I mean, join uh, letters and uh, um, also write words. He's also able to add two, uh, two words and uh, form, uh, form words, all that. Okay, so he's picking up things very fast. In just a matter of three days, Nimai learned all conjunct letters and spent his time writing different names of the Supreme Lord Ra Krishna, like Rama, Murari and Vanamali, okay? And then, Manvi read. Yes, ma'am. The living entities become enter, uh, enraptured just by hearing Nimai's sweet recitation of Bengali alphabet. This also stands for Ajkar. I have to read. Ajkar, Asche, Pede, Amti, Ami, Kabo, Pede. Um, I have to read this also. Yeah, this also you read. Okay, uh, fine. Stands okay. for Ajkar uh, or snake mm. which is approaching. Stands this letter for stands arm for? Or mm. one that I will pick to eat. Yeah, okay, so. Uh, Nimai is learning things so fast, his uh, friends all, I mean his uh, uh, classmates, okay, all of them are quite surprised, okay, because they're also in the same class and, and Nimai is uh, doing, uh, he's able to do things faster compared to them. So the living entity became enraptured just by hearing my sweet recitation of the Bengali alphabet. So all of them are hearing too. So sweetly he is telling all the things. Okay, they're all uh, listening to him. And he, he says, A, Ajgar as Asche, Pede, Amti, Am, Amti, Ame, Kabo, Pede. That means this letter stands for Ajgar or the snake which is approaching. Okay, and uh, the second letter, Amti, stands for arm or mango that I will pluck to eat. So he is forming sentences also now. And then, so his friends all are very surprised. Srijan, read. Srijan, you're there, not there. Okay, Shreya. Shreya Vijay. The Lord of of Vaikuntha of Vaikuntha Narayana 
Narayana. In the guise of child Nimai. Ch ne studied day and night with other children in Nanda. Na Nadia. Okay, the Lord of Vaikuntha. Okay, so Vishnu, right? Narayana, who is who resides in uh, Vaikuntha. Okay, so Narayana, in guise of child Nimai, studied day and night with other children in Nadia. The school or the Vedic school is in the place called Nadia and all of them. And Nimai is uh, picking up things very fast and he's practicing day and night. Okay. Um, and he's able to read. Yes, Srijan, read. Read. Okay, I think he has some. Ma'am. Read, read. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I can't see the screen. Yes, ma'am. Unable to catch. Okay, I think he's having some problem. Ram. Ma'am, you muted me. Yes, mother. Okay. Unable to catch the bird flying in the sky, Nimai wept bitterly and rolling in the dust, thrashing his arms and legs. Yeah. Okay. So, and again, he is also very naughty at home. Okay. So he keeps showing birds and uh, anything, unable butterfly or anything, something he'll show and he'll say, I want that. Okay. So unable to catch the birds flying in the sky, Nimai wept bitterly and rolled in the dust, thrashing his arms and legs. Okay. So like any other child, he also behaves at home like um, uncontrollably. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, Srijan, now you can read. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, I can't see, see the slide. Now? Yes, ma'am, now I can see. At such times, everyone would try to pacify Nimai. Jagannath Mishra would take him in his arms, but little Nimai would not be pacified. Looking at the moon and the stars, he would cry out, give, give. Yeah, okay, so he used to uh, act, uh, he used to behave a little very fussy. That is at such times, everyone, okay, so he used to be very cranky so that he uh, wants the attention of his parents. He wants to have the attention of the other uh, people around. Okay, so he will start asking for the moon. He'll, he'll ask for the sun, then he'll ask for the birds which are flying in the sky, then butterflies and all that. Okay, so at such time, everyone would try to pacify. So when he starts crying, everybody tries to pacify him or pamper him. Jagannath Mishra would take him in his arms, but little Nimai would not be pacified. Look at the moon and the stars. Looking at the moon and the stars, he would cry out, give, give. Okay, so he used to ask for the moon and the stars. Harshit, read. Ma the only remedy for Nimai's crying was perf performing kirtan. Everyone would clap their hands and chant, hurry, hurry. Only then would Nimai forget his distress and began to dance in joy. He converted Jagannath Mishra into a transcendental abode of Vaikuntha. Yeah. Okay, so and uh, so when he does that, right, uh, the only remedy for Nimai's crying was performing Kirtan. Okay, so it so happened like how say if sometimes at home you have a baby and they start crying. What do the parents do? They try to distract by uh, taking a, I mean, by showing a toy or taking them for a walk outside or just showing them the vehicle moving outside or this uh, sing songs for the baby, right? So these way they distract, right? So even in Nimai's house, they started singing or performing kirtans for him. So everyone would clap their hand, chant Hari Hari, only then would Nimai forget his distress and begin to dance in joy. He converted Jagannath Mishra's house into a transcendental abode of 
Vaikuntha. Okay, so everybody will start chanting. So when they start chanting Hari Hari, he would become silent. That's how he used to behave. Rohan, read. Uh, yeah, read. Yes, sir. One day, in spite of loud chanting, Lord of the Lord, Hari's name, Nimai continued crying. Yeah, and one day it so happens that even after singing the Kirtan, or uh, 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 even though the uh, all of them started singing the Kirtan also, he is not happy. He is still crying. Okay, Nimai style still starts crying. Yes, Riya and uh, Adya read. Someone said, speak child, tell us what you want. We will get whatever you want, but stop crying. Yeah, okay. And so uh, all the people at home, right, everybody starts uh, trying to pacify him, but he's still not convinced, okay. He still starts uh, crying, okay. He's crying uh, uncontrollably and they won't know what is happening to him, okay. And, uh, and then he, they start asking him, say something, okay, tell something, and, but don't uh, keep crying like that. What is that you want? Please tell, okay. So they're asking him. And so Nimai wants to uh, tell his, uh, so now Rimai, Nimai uh, tells what he wants. Yes, Adya, read. Ria, or. Uh... Yes, ma'am. Um, Nimai said, uh, if you want to save my life, then go quickly to the houses of my dear devotees, uh, Jagdish and Hiranya Pandit. I am very attracted to the homes of these two pure devotees. And if I could eat their offerings, I would become healthy and behave normally. Yeah, okay. And then finally, he will open up his mouth. He'll say, Nimai said, if you want to save my life, then go quickly to the houses of my dear devotees. Who are they? Jagdish and Hiranya Pandit. I'm very attracted to the homes of these two pure devotees. And if I could eat their offering, I would become healthy and behave normally. Okay, so the Lord is telling. Nimai is telling that Hiranya Pandit and Jagdish, they have offered some... Uh, uh, prasadam to the Lord. And so Nimai wants to eat that prasad. Okay, so he says that please go bring uh, that and if I eat that, I will become all right now. Sai Sankirt. Yes, ma'am. Jagdish and Hiranya Pandit were topmost devotees of the Lord and close friends of Jagannath Mishra. When they heard Lord's request, they were filled with joy. Yeah, okay, and then so after listening to uh, Nimai, these two uh, men will come to, uh, they'll come and visit uh, Jagdish and Hiranya Pandit's house and they see that uh, they both have performed uh, puja to the Lord and they have offered some prasadam to the Lord and then they will convey the message given by Nimai. They'll say that Nimai wants to eat your prasadam, okay, so please come to Jagannath Mishra's house with a Prasadam. And so hearing this, the two uh, devotees, no, they'll be very happy uh, hearing this. Saurish, read. The true Brahmin Visharva said, this is extraordinary. We have never seen such an intelligent child. How could he know that today's Ekadashi and a large variety of food is being offered to the Lord? Yeah, okay. And so these uh, Bra Brahman devotees, they are surprised. Okay, how is that Nimai knows that we have performed the Ekadashi Puja to the Lord and we have kept the offerings to the Lord. Okay, so they were very surprised. So the two Brahmin Vaishnava said, this yes, is extraordinary. We have never seen such an intelligent child. How could he know that today is Ekadashi and a large variety of food okay. has been offered to the Lord, okay? Yeah, read ma. How we understood the child's quiz beauty. Lord Gopal, Krishna must be residing in him. 
the supreme lord narayana acts through this boy sitting in his heart the lord promotes nimai to speak in amazing ways yeah okay so then the uh, devotee realizes that now we understand the child's ex exquisite beauty lord gopal krishna must be residing in him the supreme lord narayana acts through this boy sitting in his heart and the lord prompts nimai to speak in an amazing way okay so he realizes that the lord is asking for the prasadam through this boy so we should offer it to him okay um prathan pratham yes ma'am yeah read ma'am two topmost devotees took all the offerings to nimai's house and said take all the offerings we made for the lord by doing so so our desire to satisfy krishna will be fulfilled hare krishna yeah, mata ji okay. yeah hare krishna so they were uh, very happy to feed the prasadam to the uh, to nimai okay so they bring the entire offering what they had kept for the lord they bring it to nimai's house or jagannath mishra's house and they offer it to the child and nimai starts eating from every all the offering nimai starts eating okay from every plate he try and try to taste everything okay and then um, kritika uh, neerja neeraj neeraj kritika yeah read Ma'am, can you hear me? Yeah, read, read. We can hear you. The Lord happily received all the offerings and tasted a little something from every preparation. Yeah, so Nimai starts tasting from every plate. Okay, and then Neeraj. Yes, can you hear me? Read, ma'am. Yeah, read. The Lord's eternal servants Jagdish and Hiranya Pandit saw to their full satisfaction how how the Supreme Lord as a Brahmin child performed these transcendently playful pastimes. Yeah. Okay. So the Lord's eternal, uh, the Lord's eternal servant Jagdish and Hiranya Pandit saw to their full satisfaction how the Supreme Lord as a Brahmin child performed these transcendental playful. past times okay and then uh, okay yes mata ji who oh, my in call yeah whom did i unmute uh, ravi ravi ah huh? okay read ravi ravi the old the yes, lord lord collect me offerings all his unuses wines were wims were satisfied so smiling the lord ate all the offerings and all his unusual wims were satisfied okay you see the krishna read every in the krishna are you on I have unmuted you. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Now am I audible to you? Yeah. All right. Everyone in the house sang Hari Hari. The Lord ate and danced to the chanting of His own name. Yeah. So everybody starts chanting. Read this also. Okay, ma'am. This is how the supreme personality of Godhead, described in all Vedas and Puranas, performed his transcendental pastimes, only seen. and understood by his fortunate and confidential associates yeah okay so the lord shows this past time this kind of past times can only be experienced or can be cherished only by the uh, his confidential associates okay so that's what the lord tell everyone in the house sang hari hari and the lord ate and danced to the chanting of his own name and this is how the supreme personality of god had described in all vedas and puranas performed his transcendental pastime only seen and understood by his fortunate and confidential associates okay yes all of you together say this gaurang mahaprabhu ki 
Jai. I have unmuted all of you. So that is the end of uh, this is the end of chapter ten. Uh, this is the end of chapter ten. So we can end the class tomorrow. We'll discuss the chapter eleven. Okay, where the Lord shows His universal form. Okay, so it's uh, He shows His actual form. Okay. Um, where you require okay a uh, divine eyes okay so you require divine eyes to see that knowledge so he not he is not be seen to everybody in that form okay so he shows that form to arjuna okay so we can see discuss that in the uh, 11th chapter okay yes if you do not have any doubt we can uh, uh, meet tomorrow or those who do not have doubt can leave the class if you have doubt you can stay back Yes, some are still there. Some have raised hand. Yes, Ravi, uh, your attendance problem, right? Yes. Ma'am, I'm Krishna. I am having some attendance problem. Can I share my payment? Yes. Yes, yes, you share. You can share and show me. Now, me? Because yeah. It not okay, I'll have to make you the host. Make, I'm making you the co-host. Now you can do it. Shreya, you have some doubt? One no? second. Hare Shreya, Krishna. no doubt? Mala. Mataji, you can see me screen. Yeah, I can see. One second. Mataji, please don't WhatsApp and join again. Mataji, there is some problem there. Yes, so where is my chat? Box. Here is my chat box. Here is it. Attendance link. Click on the attendance link. Yes, ma'am. Taji, I will click it again. It is doing like this. Google. No longer supporting to view this website, enjoy a better online experience. Okay. This is uh, you, you are using sister computer. No, I'm on phone. You are on phone, huh? Yes. Have you I... tried? Okay. Do you have a computer? I don't have computer. I have a laptop. You have a laptop. Okay. You do one thing on laptop. Can you log in and uh, mark? Because Mataji, actually, that my laptop is there. Of it, the actually his charger is not there. So after I I will find the charger so I could do it. Okay. See, that's what the, it is a problem with the system. Okay, your uh, your browser is not supporting the link. That is the problem happening. Okay. That needs to be resolved. Okay, Mukherjee. I will try to join the laptop content. Working. I will see you because my laptop that this is charger is not there. So now... Yeah. Charger, you need to it. upgrade. You need to upgrade the software. Okay. Maybe even on the phone if it can accommodate. Okay. Only if it can accommodate, you update. Otherwise, uh, you won't be able to uh, use the phone for other applications. Okay. Uh, or you do one thing. You uh, through a laptop, you try to through a computer, you try to log in and uh, uh, do it. Okay, so you will be able to, but by now you would have lost so many classes. No, every day if you are facing, it's already 10 days is gone. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Hey, 
it so let uh, then i can i can mark you do one thing on you do on the laptop and tell me if you are able to do tomorrow okay and then uh, later i'll see how uh, how i can help you for the rest of the days okay okay ma'am thank you ma'am yes ma hari hari krishna hari krishna uh, parimala